Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be uh, exploring a... Godard Mansion. Yeah, the Godard Mansion thing that we found near a beach. Uh, we are in... Are we still in Portland? Cape Elizabeth. Cape Elizabeth. And this is the... Oh my God, this, this is so amazing. Oh, uh, that's really pretty. It's very old, so no one lives here. I mean, of course no one lives here. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go in and explore it. So, let's go. I'll meet you guys inside. The Godard Mansion was completed in 1858 for John Godard to an Italian villa design prepared by Portland architect Charles Alexandra, who planned other prominent buildings in the area. It was built of native stone and was one of the first grand houses to be built along the Cape Elizabeth shore. Godard had been successful in the lumber industry, and then in 1853, he purchased the Cape Cottage, a popular summer hotel built in 1835. The mansion was built on a portion of the hotel property. Godard was active in a number of local businesses and was appointed colonel of the 1st Maine Regiment of Cavalry during the Civil War, but he saw no action. The mansion was acquired in 18... 98 by the U.S. Army and was used for housing married, enlisted men, and their families stationed at Fort Williams. The basement was converted into the fort's non-commissioned officers club. That's what it would have looked like when it was being used in probably the late 1800s, like 1920s, because, right? Okay, mm -hmm. now. Yeah, 1930s. Yeah. All right, let's go in. So you can't actually go in because there's a fence right here. But like, I mean, no one can really live in there. So yeah, you can't actually go in because there's a fence. But like, I see why they don't let you in. Yeah. All right. Like Jumanji. I know. Oh, that's true. So let's go look in one of the windows over here. There's a window over here. I'm going to try climbing up. Yeah, it's literally like a jungle in there. It's kind of hard to see because of how dark it is in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like it's like a jungle in there. It's all just a bunch of leaves and branches and stuff. Let's go up too. I got it too, so you could easily see it. So yeah, it's just like. It's kind of blurry. The camera's being really blurry right now, but like, it's just like a jungle in there. I'm going around back right now. The camera is being really, really annoying, and it's very, very foggy. All right, I got to unfog. Just had to pause the video for a second and unfog it. Uh, it's because I got my finger on it. So yeah, so we're going around back right now, and yes, another fence. And it's just like a jungle in there. You can write on the walls. Hey, oh, Shoot, I should have brought my, um, oh, I have a, um, I have a Sharpie in the truck. I should have brought it. It's fine, though. So, yeah. Like, all these walls. Oh, there's, like, a bunch of holes in the wall over there. Huh. Get down. Evan, do not go over the fence. I wish I could go in there, but, nope, you can't. So over here, it looks like there's like mini like door things, and they kind of used that as like a cannon hole uh, back then when they actually used it. And this woods over here probably wasn't woods because if you look out there, that's all ocean. So this is probably all cleared out back then. And when like enemies came, they probably used that for like cannons or something. I'm not sure, but it looks like it. Something like that. The walls are very full of fungi and stuff more graffiti mom don't know what that is that's the garage yeah yeah it's all kind of stuff i can see that wall and don't let kids there's a big rock i have to go on it yes that was pretty easy to climb up Oh, this is so cool. Kind of high up, not that high up. Cool. If you hear anyone screaming, it's either a little 
kids acting like we acting uh, screaming for their mo mothers. Um, or my little brother screaming my name because he thinks I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. Because I just went on this walk and he's like, Michaela, get down here. So yeah, I'm going down this little path right here and down to the water, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's like a beach down here. There's a couple other like fort places that might be open. So we're probably gonna go check those out too. There's like a fort way out there. Right, I think we're gonna go check that out real quick. Fort so Williams. this is Fort Williams over here. No, this and, whole ground oh, is Fort Williams. Never mind. All the way from the lighthouse. <laughs> To here, remember when we're looking this at the map, the lighthouse? Yeah. That and this whole is area, which is huge. So that's that's okay. There's an old lighthouse way out there. I don't know if my, yeah, you can kind of see it. There's a new one, but it's uh, you can't really see it from where I'm standing right now. But that's the old one that they used to use, and then they remade a new one. So let's go to the fort. I'm gonna go in this little like shed thing up here. Go check it out. Yeah, we're gonna go to the little one first. Why well, these remind me of like those um uh my like the Minecraft villages in the deserts? Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Oh god, this door is kind of tiny. Yeah, it's like the dungeon. Like, it's like the dungeon. Hold on. Me compared to the door. Yeah, it's like the dungeon. Right? Yeah, we'll go up to the door. I want to see. It's like the dungeon. You're about the same height as the door. Oh gosh. What is? <laughs> what did I find? It looks. Okay. Mom, this is a dungeon. <laughs> About to jump off the cliff. One, two, three. Fuck! Ah! You jumped off me. Let's go over to the big fort now. Or my mom's gonna go read the sign, I guess. We're gonna go in this very sketchy, dark hole. Oh, this way. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big oh, God. hole. It's dark. Mom, can you turn on your camera flash? Because mine doesn't work when I'm recording. Okay. Why is this not letting me turn on my camera? <laughs> so my oh, mom... You guys are really just like taking me out of my element. <laughs> it's better just go to the room Oh next yeah, door. that's pitch black in there. I feel like the walls are caving in. Are we getting squished? I don't know. Ah! Oh, I it's like it's getting get tighter through there. It's squeezed. <laughs> Flash your phone. Oh, it literally just is like a maze Oh my thing. god. There's a drop phone. <gasps> your camera phone. <gasps> your phone camera. Or, camera. Go! Go in! Okay, no fighting. No fighting. I mean, make sure there's not drop off. Yeah, there is. There's, there's no stop being stupid. Right here there there's, is. No, there's not. Nobody needs to hear false information. Yeah, while there's no drop off between two brick walls. Watch ah. out, there's two. What do you think this was used for? Oh, uh, like out. a secret. Watch out your feet. Evan, shush. What do you like think a... this was used for? We'll go read the book. Like a secret passageway or Why something. Why would you need a secret passageway during World War II? Because someone could try to uh, shoot your head off. The fort? Maybe mm -hmm. men could live in between the walls for a oh, little God. while. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Imagine having like um you like imagine living in between this wall. Mm. Yeah, imagine having some anxiety in there. Mom. The people you have to live in there Oh, it literally just goes from that end to this yeah, end. They live inside the wall. Hmm. Oh look, there's a banana. There's a banana on the wall. Here, shine your light through there. Yes. Yeah, oh, what? I don't like for there. It's just a room like this, Evan. Yeah, I can't see that. <laughs> That's in there. Oh, look, all the walls are fenced up. Yeah, now I really wish I brought my Sharpie. <laughs> I'll probably get it next time we go somewhere. I have like three Sharpies in the truck, and I didn't bring any of them. <laughs> Very disappointed in myself. Battery Erasmus Key. Was completed in 1905, that would explain the plaster, and named for Amasas, uh, Aramas, Erasmus Kais, a main resident and graduate of the U.S. Military Academy who rose to the rank of Major General during the Civil War. The battery mounted two three inch rapid fire guns to protect the mine field that was laid in the main channel during wartime. Wow. The distance. 
to a target was determined by the range finder mounted in the building to the right of the battery, which also served as the battery's commander station. The searchlight was located to the left of the battery to provide illumination at night. The building in the center of the battery housed two mine control stations to plot the location and targets of the minefield. The lower level contained a magazine for each gun and storeroom. During World War II, the battery case was the alert battery, which was manned and prepared to fire on any vessel which failed to identify itself properly. So this is what it looked like in like the third, 20s or 30s. And now this is what it looks like? It's not mm -hmm. that bad. This is now what it no, looks like. It looks like a really, really old abandoned like mansion or something like that. That's like the kind of vibe. Hi, let's go. And then it, let's go up to here in this very sketchy little this place. Hole. Okay. Right, my mom. All right, my mom just wanted pictures, so now we are going in here. And oh god, it's, oh my god, what is? <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? It's like if a rabbit was like a man, like a man rabbit. <laughs> I think this is like an elephant. Oh, potty room. Ooh, it's oh. oh, working out here. We're going up to the top of this thing. Hey, was a big guy right here. Let me struggling to get up. So this is the top of it. There's like these certain room things. There's like stairs right here. Uh, that'd be cool to go on that balcony thing. I mean, people have been in there. It'd be cool to go in there. So we're not allowed in there, right? Okay. That'd be really cool to go in there, though. Me, Matt. Okay, there's the lighthouse we were at earlier. I didn't film it because I forgot my camera and the camera's being blurry, but there's the lighthouse over there. That one's the new one. Um, so yeah. And that's the... Oh! Oh gosh, William just fell in face. And you okay, bud? You okay? Hold on, guys. So he's all right now. Uh, we're gonna go up here. And this is the top of like that little room that me and my brother were in here. Oh, there's like a secret passageway over there. There was a ton of people down there, so I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, there was a ton of people over there, so I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna record over here. Let's go up here. Uh, I kick a bunch of dirt in my food, but. All right, we, we, we're gonna go to the next place, I guess, now. Let's go. We are going to that fort over there. I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's a mini fort hidden in the woods right there, and we're going to check that out. We're on the beach right now, it's very rocky. So, You good? I'm fine. I'm just gonna fix my, fix my pants. <laughs> Look how clear the water is. Ah! I have sneakers on. Forgot to wear my sandals. Clear the water is super pretty. There's a buoy right here. Find a bunch of seaweed everywhere. Look at all that seaweed. Oh, there's a little dead crab right here. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. You're going to make dinner up whether uh, you like it or not. <sighs> so many rocks. Alright, we made it to the steps. 
brothers and family are way back there. Let's go up. Oh, look, a Sprite bottle. Let's go up the stairs. Oh, look. Wow, that was a bust. I'm just going to run into this wall. Wow. I'm going to climb up here. Hold on, guys. All right, I'm up here. I just had to climb up there. It's pretty easy. So this door is all, like, blocked off. There's something. Uh, I've seen a lot of weird graffiti. They are very, very pretty from here. Some things down there. There's a dead end right here. The door is all blocked off and stuff. Mm -hmm. Try going over here. There's a lot of weeds right here, so I gotta stay over here. Oh, there's like a secret. There's like a staircase up there. Hold on, let me ask my mom if I can go up there and I'll go up. He is half. Um, it's a crab. Yeah. He is half crab, half human. Shh. Gotcha. Shh. All right, we are heading up these uh. Stairs. They have railings. That's good. Oh gosh. I don't really trust these stairs, but you know, I'm risking it. <laughs> I've risked many. Uh, I've risked. I risk. The, oh my God! I can't speak to it. Oh look! It just leads to nothing. Literally just. Wow. Um. Hola. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's go back down then. Yeah, All right. We are going down. We are going back down. It's very pretty. Found this little like pocket hole thing right here. Hmm. Time to go across all these rocks again. Try not to twist my ankle again. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Let's try to find the safe way across. Okay, I found a big platform over here. We can just go on this and go over here. <sighs> I paused a lot of the video, but most of this video is like oh, he's right there. Most of this video is like very. It's very hard to get to a lot of these places, so I most of the time just pause the recording and stuff. So yeah, so this video isn't the entire video. I had to get rid of a lot of it. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we are back down, and we are going to go over to the beach. Huh. Oh look, there's like a wall right here. It's cool. Oh, there's a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> The water is cool. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for watching this video. I really enjoyed making this video with you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below uh, which was your favorite hideout or like cabin thing that I found today. Uh, see you all next time. Bye, guys.